Hello everyone, my name is Vic of EOS Market Biz and in this video I am going to share with you the latest updates on the newsletter that you're going to receive once you subscribe at preferredcurrency.news. Okay, so let's begin. So here is the website where you subscribe for $15 a month or $180 a year to get uh, the latest news updates on cryptocurrencies especially um the news um the research list of Donald the guru okay so let's go to the newsletter so this is the newsletter that the subscribers received some hours ago so i'm going to discuss or read um the first three um news updates before we uh, go to the spreadsheet of Donald the guru okay so the first one is Tron launches accelerator program for DAP developers. All right. So the centralized internet project Tron or TRX is launching a one million dollar accelerator program to support developers building DApps and products on the Tron protocol, according to a press release shared with Cointelegraph November 16. The initiative aims to facilitate consumer adoption of blockchain technology through Tron's ecosystem following the recent acquisition of peer-to-peer -peer file sharing service BitTorrent, Project Atlas, and payment service Puppy App. Tron's protocol currently processes more than 1 million transactions and 600,000 wallets. The startup will purportedly accept submissions to its accelerator through December while the winners will be announced at Tron's first international summit in January. In October, Tron and China's largest internet search provider Baidu announced they will cooperate on cloud computing resources. Um, rather than being a connection at the blockchain business level. Also in October, Tron CEO Justin Sun claimed its update dubbed Odyssey 3.1 would see it beat Ethereum on speed and EOS on cost. The changes tr include the launch of the Tron Virtual Machine, which would allow developers to test smart contracts before they transfer to the Tron mainnet. As of press time, TRX is the 11th top cryptocurrency, trading ar at around 0.018 cents, up, to, up by 0.27% on the day. According, according to coin market cap okay so that is very good news for um, Tron holders right so the next major news is this one okay so let's close this first right so new free metal card with crypto perks to be launched in the US on November 16 the Hong Kong based blockchain startup crypto.com announced that it is planning to issue its prepaid card, MCO Visa card in the United States. The company says the card has been approved for launch in partnership with its local bank partner, Metropolitan Commercial Bank. Um, its metal cards promise up to 2% token rewards with its native MCO token. Airport launch access select cards, tap and face functionality as well as competitive interbank rates. Convert crypto to fiat within a few taps. According to Crypto.com, users of the MCO Visa card can easily convert their crypto to fiat using the mobile wallet to be spent at over 40 million locations worldwide, online and offline. However, the company highlights that users need to exchange crypto to fiat currency first um, via Crypto.com's wallet before transacting. The company began shipping cards to Singapore users in October and says it currently has reservations for over 100,000 cards. The blockchain startup says that the cards come with no annual or monthly fees and no fee ADM withdrawals. The company's official announcement quotes 
Mark DiFaggio, DiFaggio, President and CEO of Metrop Metropolitan Commercial Bank, has said that they are pleased to work closely with Crypto.com as the MCO Visa card is quite unique and provides a bridge between the traditional banking and cryptocurrencies in a safe and compliant way. Card reservations are made through a Crypto.com's card and wallet app available for iOS and Android users. So more than a card. Crypto.com believes their product range will be useful for both crypto newcomers and experienced users. In addition to the MCO Visa card, the company has created products that are geared towards making cryptocurrency more accessible to a broader group of customers. Crypto.com's wallet is designed to securely buy, sell, and send, store, and track a range of cryptocurrencies including Bitcoin, Ether, XRP, um, Litecoin, Binance Coin, and its own MCO token. Crypto Invest is a tool to help dem democratize grant trading. Crypto Credit, which is not yet released, will allow customers to spend crypto without selling. So Crypto.com assures that their app is easier to use than some other platforms. For example, buying cryptocurrency requires only a few taps compared to the complex process of other wallets, the company says. With Crypto.com's track coin feature, users can track coins compared exchange rates and prices and sort coins by capitalization, performance, and volume. Crypto.com co-founder and CEO Chris Mars Zalik said, Our vision is to put cryptocurrency into every wallet and the upcoming card rollout in the United States is a huge step in that direction. Our products are beautifully designed to connect the fiat on crypto worlds and drive mass market adoption. So about the project, the company was founded in July 2016. Crypto.com was formerly known as Monaco until its rebrand to Crypto.com in July 2018. The founders had raised $26.7 million during their token sale in June 2017. Crypto.com is headquartered in Hong Kong. Okay, so that is the second headlines for today. The third uh, main story is... Major exchanges are already distributing new Bitcoin Cash tokens. So after yesterday's split of the Bitcoin Cash blockchain, several top exchanges have already accommodated the resulting two tokens. While the scheduled hard fork was originally intended as an upgrade to the network, the long standard Bitcoin ABC version found itself with a rival network and token, Bitcoin SV after it managed to garner enough support from miners. Taking place at around 18 UTC Thursday, the event soon saw both networks producing new blocks through Bitcoin ABC, and though I mean Bitcoin ABC took an early lead. At press time, ABC has mined 34 blocks more than SV and has 59% of hash power according to data from CoinDance. In an announcement Friday, Bitcoin, I mean Binance, said all eligible users have now received both BCH ABC and BCH SV. The tokens have arose as a result of different stakeholders providing support for competing versions of the Bitcoin Cash software. Binance said the tokens were allocated based on a ratio of one BCH to um, equals to 1 BCH ABC and 1 BCH to 1 BCH SV based on the snapshot of all BCH balances taken on November 15, 440 p.m. UTC. Um, the exchange added that trading for new pairs BCH ABC BTC, BCH ABC USDT, BCH SV BTC, and BCH SV USDT kicked off at 8 UTC today. Deposits and withdrawals of the new tokens are still on hold, however, until the blockchains and wallets are deemed usable and stable. Both the Bitfinex and Polynex exchanges have also said they have made the shift to the new cryptocurrencies. In a tweet, Bitfinex said, BAB and BSV, BAB and BSV 
have been successfully credited to Bitfinex users and BCH positions have been claimed. The BCH symbol will not be assigned until the port is complete. Similarly, Paul Linux tweeted, We've finished converting all BCH balances to BCH ABC and BCH SV. The BCH market is now disabled. BCH ABC slash BDC and BCH SV slash BDC, BCH ABC slash USDC and BCH SV slash USDC markets are open. Deposits and withdrawals of BCH ABC and BCH SV are still paused and will remain paused until the network stabilizes. Cryptocurrency data provider Coin Market Cap now lists both BCH SV and BCH ABC, reporting prices at $109 and $209, respectively. It also still lists the former cryptocurrency BCH at $405. If the data is correct at every at this early stage, it's worth noting that SV is down 23% on a daily basis while ABC has gained 1.2%. Okay, so those are the three major updates on the news today. So let's go down to the um, spreadsheet and all the group's research list. So the top points of the day are Dash, Nose, Steam, Qtrust, Zcash, Bitcoin, EOS, Stellar, Davcoin, and BitBay. Okay, so this is the, the guru's research list so as stated here at um, what you call this cell A1 the red have negative news orange are neutral yellow are fair green have good news blue are showing the best news so the blue ones are the best ones that should be included in your research list or in your portfolio okay so what are inside the spreadsheet so inside is the US recent price you mean USDC recent flight price the share of total market volume the goal search compared to past seven days the 50 candle SME movement the number of positive technical indicators the 24 hours current volume versus price the seven days weekly volume versus price the 30 days monthly volume versus price the percent issued the description and also the um, the 1.2 times of the recent price 1.4 1.6 1.8 and then two times right so these are all technical anal analysis so these are very useful information as you can see so guys if i were you i would subscribe at preferredcurrency.news to receive this newsletter which is very very informative right so there are also other links here like if you um if you're if you don't you still don't have um, an eos wallet there's an eos wallet that is downloadable in the google play store and in the app store or you can use the desktop version which is eslinks, so eslinks.com, right? So also, if you are an EOS holder, you can go to eosmarket.biz and you can find links there, where, which is very useful to you also. Like, um, You can exchange your EOS for airfare tickets, which offers up to 70% discounts. Okay, so two marketplace websites, PCN Marketplace and EOS Marketplace, which you can buy um, using EOS, preferred currency news, where you can subscribe for the newsletter using EOS and PCN today, and also other useful apps, which is a tool where you can monitor your EOS transactions, um, the list of all the EOS airdrops, or the list of all the airdrops, and the list of all the EOS dApps. Okay, so another is this one. So it's Lumios.io. So it's a social service on a blockchain give feedback and get rewarded in crypto so it is downloadable in app store and play store so download it now to get your free tokens okay so i think that's it so guys preferred currency.news newsletter
So before I go, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor. And everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto. And you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself. Okay? So guys, I am Vic of ES Market Biz, bringing you the latest news, the latest updates, the newest cryptocurrency related articles um, brought to you by Preferred Currency News. Signing off. Bye-bye.